So this is wilderness guide Hag Miedeke commenting um, to these um, survival shows that are popping up on YouTube. Um, I'm mostly referring to the German ones by Fritz Meinecke, for example, called Seven vs. Wild. So these have been some YouTube formats um, that goes into the third season this year. I've been observing them, looking at them from the survival instructor and uh, wilderness guide perspective. And my main issue is, is that we are doing those in the first place, like doing those kind of shows in the first place. I'm wondering, does that help with the survival of our species? Because no matter how, like, especially if we are extremely interested in survival, we should be interested in the possible future of ourselves and our children and other species and our whole species. So why are we doing them? Like, I mean, seriously, like, so, so just let to share with you, like, so Seven vs. Wild is going to have a third season this year in the, um, I, I guess they will be shooting late summer, autumn and, um, so Fritz Meinecke, if you are listening to this, um, I would like you to contact me actually, because I think we need to talk. Um, like, how does this help our situation? Yes, I, I think it's important to, to have survival high on our priority list, that survival is part of our culture, just not that kind of survival, not the kind of survival where we fly in with helicopters, bring people um, from around the world and cause a huge hype of people going into the woods doing irresponsible things. Like stuff that I saw in the first two seasons, there is stuff that really, I mean, like I live in the subarctic. So when I look at the first season, which was also in the subarctic in Sweden, uh, in the place that our species called Sweden, only our species, so when I, when I look at the first season, like what kind of things happened there? Like, I mean, there were like um, standing, live, uh, standing dead and living trees being logged um, for, for building floats, just for, for some, some silly human challenge, you know, a one day adventure. Uh, we, we cut a tree that has been standing for, you know, maybe a couple of hundred years and that could still be standing for a couple of hundred years. Um, and be living space for so many other organisms. Um, I mean, there's so much that is connected to this. And, and of course, then the people that want to, um, you know, do the same thing and then see those places and fly there and uh, buy the equipment. And I mean, this whole hype, even, even just this, um, like the valuable time that people spend watching this stuff instead of taking care. So, we really need to ask ourselves, like, how do these survival shows, how do they help our situation? Um, and how would they need to look like to actually help our situation? So how about like making it um, a show where the idea is to, uh, you know, who is the fastest who, who uh, eliminates their own overshoot day from their own life for good? Um, because that would be survival. Like these so-called survival shows, like um, they're, they're actually suicide shows. This is showing ways of doing things that are killing ourselves. I'm, I'm very critical to those. On the other hand, I can see, yes, um, they can also do a lot of good. Um, it's sad that it's that kind of things that can do a lot of, I mean, I, I give an example. In the second season of Seven vs. Wild, uh, which was on an uh, probably like highly chemically contaminated island uh, in, in um, off the coast of Panama. Um, and um, some participants greetings um, like found like um, like kind of the leftovers of human shark finning. Uh, there was a lot of plastic pollution. So that caused awareness, you know, just that people like watch these shows caused awareness. I think it's really sad. If you're interested in survival, you know those things already. Like if you didn't know those things already, then you highly misunderstand the meaning of survival. Then you think it's probably some entertaining, I don't know, uh, maybe even a very masculine thing to do. So taking survival seriously means 
asking ourselves, does this helicopter flight, does that serve primarily, does it primarily serve the well-being of life in all its diversity? Because to, to give the human survival and our own survival a, even a small chance, it would need to primarily serve the well-being of life in all its diversity, because our survival depends on the well-being of life in all its diversity. It's really simple. So there's a lot of resources, energy, time, money, um, lives being used and abused for a lot of things, not just these kind, you know, cruise ships, equally stupid, right? Holiday flights, equally stupid. Um, sure, they can help. And if we just look, you know, we will find a reason to justify them for ourselves. But it doesn't matter to justify them for ourselves. We need to justify them for our lives. Maybe we don't really understand it yet, like deep in our heart. We understand it e easily if we spend more time outside than inside, more time outdoors than indoors, um, more time outside than online. We will easily understand what life is about. We will understand how our world is affected by human behavior. Um, that is habitat loss, that is biodiversity loss, that is climate change, that is pollution. It's so many things. And so with anything that we do, any use of resources, time, energy and money and lives, we need to ask ourselves, is that helpful? Is that essential? Is it necessary? Is it a game changer? Does it make us better survivors? So if you look into these survival shows, and if you organize these kind of survival shows, please make, <laughs> no, just don't. <laughs> or make them really serious. And I have a lot of ideas how to make them actually really good um, and how to make them like good in, in terms of useful, relevant, helpful, honest. Because what I've seen in season first uh, one and two of the Seven Versus Wild and in many, 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 many other survival shows, this is not survival. This is some weird, I don't know, um, really a weird image of, of how life in nature looks like. This is like humans against nature and it's, we are nature. So if we are nature, we cannot do those things. Or since we are nature, we cannot do that kind of things. So um, stay home, um, do survival, really do survival, seriously. Like, we are in a survival situation together and my life, my survival depends on you doing a proper thing there. That's all I have um, for that about these survival shows. Have a good time. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to comments and feedbacks and, yep, head up.